Hello, welcome back to another Fabulous Your Channel. I'm Jacob from Jacob's Here, and today we're going to be talking about Sims 4 Cottage Living. If you're new here, I do a lot of different Sims content and stuff. I also have a few other channels that will be linked down below in case you're curious about other things I do. For Cottage Living in particular, there's going to be a lot of links down below. I'm also going to throw them up in the card. If I remember, I'll at least throw the playlist up in the card since it's a little bit easier to do now on YouTube. Um, I'm not doing any overviews um, except for a world overview. So that's going to be the first thing, actually, I think I film, and then we'll jump over and doing some stuff over on Twitch. My Twitch is going to be linked down below. It's it's a little too late for that. Eventually the VOD will be up in a few months, but you never know. And it'll be linked as soon as it is up. So if you're watching this in the future, I'm sure it's down there. So you can check out my direct overview. There's plenty of creators who are doing overviews. So I just much prefer to do a cast video, creating all the creosim, like creating all the characters for our, our Let's Play. And then also the build that our Let's Play will be taking in. I much prefer to do that type of stuff than going through and doing the like normal overviews. It's a lot easier for me to do and edit and everything, except for the world overview, because I do like showcasing the world. It's own video and so yeah so that's gonna be something a little bit extra you guys get normally if there's a world overview we'll do it all right let's talk about sims 4 cottage living raise or befriend animals chickens and cows can provide sims with eggs and milk llamas provide wool for craft just don't get spit on wild birds share their sweet songs rabbits will free warm roam but keep an eye out for mischievous foxes live off the land where the sims grow their own produce forage in the wild or visit the village market fresh is best up for the challenge try growing oversized crops to enter the competition at the fenwick fair embrace the countryside Henford on Begley, nestled in the countryside where everyone knows everyone. Pack for a lovely picnic or lose yourself on a cross-stitch session. Get to know the locals and the Gnome Arms pub and learn about the town from your neighbors. Enjoy the simple living. Benefit from, from higher quality food while using the new simple living lot challenge. This new lot challenge will require Sims to cook with fresh ingredients for each meal. Will your Sims be up for the challenge? We will see. Alright, um, whatever video clicked on, we'll jump into that next. Welcome to the cast portion of this video where we're creating our main character, Phoenix. Phoenix does have a backstory but i'll read that in the first part um and even her character herself looks a little bit different in the first part in the beginning but that's okay there's there's a whole reason for that now talking about the cast and journalistic forms i did do an overview i filmed it so if you guys want that let me know in the comments down below as i do have the footage for both the overview for the cast and the build and buy just in case you guys wanted it if so i probably will post it over on my vod channel um maybe mesh together or something out of those lines I don't know. Let me know if you guys are interested in my direct reaction. I would say I wasn't really super pleased with the cast items. I think they're all right. They're not my favorite things in the world. I'll use some of them. The main ones I use are in this video, to be honest with you. I've not played with any other Sims, so maybe their styles can be adapted to it and I can find more use out of it. I like certain objects. I like certain pieces of clothing, but I'm not obsessed with anything. There's no hair that I'm like, this is to die for. Um, I'm very curious to see what they do with it. So like for instance, like if there's a new hair or something for custom content, how people how people use that custom content and things. So that makes me very curious inside. Our main character will be an animal enthusiast. That's one of the new traits. She's not lactose intolerant, which is also another new trait. And she also new animal expert, I think is what it's called for the new aspiration as well. I expect it to be more likes and dislikes because we got new things such as new traits such as cross sitting and stuff not traits but skills and things but nothing came about which i found to be odd i've also not really started playing with cottage living i think i'm gonna do that this evening to sit down and play a few parts before i go to bed for work tomorrow i'm not really sure yet though because it's gonna be kind of weird the outroll of these content because of how busy i am this weekend and stuff it's gonna be a little odd the next two parts will go up tomorrow, so today is going to be cast. I don't know which one's going up first, probably this one. Cast and build and buy, and then um, and then we have a speed build for build and buy, so that's going to go up next, and that's today's. And then tomorrow is world overview and the first episode. And then we got to finish up some other stuff that I have on the channel before we can start diving into this series full-time. But once we dive into it, it's full-time. I'm very excited. I was really enjoying that first part. It was such a good time. I have a feeling I'm going to fall in love with this family. That's why I specifically chose one sim. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get a question about that because, like, why don't you want to showcase everything? And that's easier if you do a whole family, which is true. And I actually do want a whole family, and I wouldn't mind actually getting a bigger farm and stuff because she was on a pretty small farm, which you guys are going to find out. But I really, really liked her, and I really liked her story, and I really liked where she could go and the different things and how country she is. And I do have a feeling she could probably fall in love with someone and then we could have a whole family. There's a girl who, who doesn't live that far down the hill from her that I think it would be really, really cute, like, cottagey love story, which I'm really excited about. So that's kind of the plan, you know. I have a few ideas in the back of my mind to kind of 
go forward with this story. And yeah, so right now she's just living her life, trying to figure out her life. And then we'll find love and we'll adopt. Right now the plan is to have maybe a 10 part series, but it could be extended if needed um, to 20 parts. I don't have anything else going on right now. I have a few other extra fun things that will start to get integrated about the third or second week of August, but that's about it. Uh, but until then, it's going to be college living nonstop because I know that's what you guys want. That's what I want personally. I want nothing but a good old cottage living. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, and we're still talking because this video is not over yet. But I, like I said, I don't really enjoy all these outfits and stuff. Also, if it seems like it's going by really, really slow, that is just simply because... I, it's only like 100, it's only like 0.5 times faster, like not even like 5 times faster, but like 0.5 times faster than what I recorded it as, because it took me like no time whatsoever to do so, and I just was obsessed. Also, that makeup was great. They did a good job with that, that version of that. I was very much obsessed with this character. I was very much obsessed with who she is and what she kind of stands for, and I'm really, really excited to to play with her to go to all these big events in the town and to do all these things i think it's gonna be so much fun and super duper exciting and i would want to know what you guys opinions about this pack is once i've not really played with it enough to tell you guys if you guys should buy it or not um not for the cast i gave it like a b i think it's what it came out to be the build and buyer is fine there's nothing in there that also i was like oh my god about i mean obviously like the animals and stuff but that's what you're buying this pack for so if you want the animals you're gonna get the animals and so I've not played with them in gameplay, so I can't even talk on that behalf. But yes, yeah, so this is Phoenix, I think Shelton, I think is her last name. And like I said, I went through all of her different traits and stuff already. But guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you the next time for another people. Thank you for watching and goodbye.